guys. So I'm going to show you now how we make our monotype print using a plastic bag. And here is an example of one of my prints that I made earlier using this technique. I used a green marker and I love how it makes all those little splotches. It looks like texture. And part of the reason that happens is because when you color on the bag, um, the plastic resists the marker. They don't really sit well together. We've talked about resists before. But the marker ink doesn't have anywhere to go, so it stays on the plastic, but it kind of clumps up because it's trying to, it's getting pushed away from the plastic, so it doesn't stay on it evenly. All right, so I'm going to reuse a bag that I had been using already, so it has color on it, but that's okay. I'm going to tilt this to show you. All right, so we're going to color in an area with a lot of ink. Now put your paper on top and smooth it onto the plastic to make sure the ink really gets onto it. And you want to do this fairly quickly because otherwise the ink starts to dry on the plastic. Let's see how it looks when we peel it up. Woo, that is so cool. Okay, so now what you can do is take another color And we can either print it next to here to keep adding more to our page or on top of here to add more colors in one area. I'm going to overlap it on some of it and then some of it goes onto a new part of the page. Wow, that's really beautiful. I don't know if you can tell on camera that they're different colors, but in person, it's more noticeable. So you could do this on your whole page, or you could cut your page into smaller pieces first, have little papers, and cover them all at once. Um, there's so much you can do. You can cut this up at the end. You can frame it as it is. You can turn it into a collage. So I hope you have fun making your prints.